What's so incredibly powerful about Thrive Theme Builder is that you have the ability to choose pre-designed templates for almost everything on your website, but you also have the ability to customize everything to your heart's content. We are continuing how to build a business website in a weekend with lesson eight, customizing your theme templates and pages. In this lesson, you'll learn how to customize the pages of your website. Let's begin with the home page. To access your home page theme template, go to the Thrive Dashboard and Thrive Theme Builder. Then go to the Templates tab. And then look for your active home page and click the Edit button. Let's start with the header. So I'll click in the header area. So we have two options here. We can edit this header and the edits we make will be global, so they will affect the other pages where this header is used. Right now, that would be all of our pages and posts. And the other option is to change the header. If we change the header, then we'll be choosing a new header just for this page. All of the other pages and posts will use the header that we chose when we went through the Thrive Theme Builder site wizard. So since we want to get up and running quickly, let's simply edit this header which will be used throughout the entire website. I'd like to start by showing you the breadcrumbs at the top of the page. So for any given page, there are many different elements and typically elements are nested within other elements. So if I click on here, you'll see that I've clicked into the column element and that is inside of the columns element and that is inside of the header. And you may have also noticed that as I clicked through those elements, the options on the left changed. So it's important to get used to using the breadcrumbs at the top of the page to make sure that you've got the correct element selected. So for example, if I want to change the background color for the header, if I just click in this empty space here, I might think that I have clicked in the header, but I've actually clicked into the column element. So to get to the header, I'll need to click on header, and then I can choose a different background. So I just wanted to show you those breadcrumbs. Let's go ahead and customize the menu inside of the header. So to customize this menu, I can simply click on an element delete the sample text, and then I can replace that with my own text. So the styling for these menu items is linked. So clicking on one menu item to change the color or font will change the styling for all of the other menu items. So for example, I can click on contact and then I'll go to typography and I'll change the color. And that has changed the color for all of the menu items. If you would like one particular item to be customized on its own, you can unlink it from the others by clicking the lock icon, and that will turn it red, which means that you can style this item separately from the others. For right now, I'll go ahead and relink it by clicking the lock icon again, and the green icon means that these are all linked. When you're finished editing your header, you'll need to click out of that section by clicking the done button. So next, let's customize the hero section of our home page. So right here underneath the header on your home page, this is prime real estate to capture conversions. So let's go ahead and use this space to capture email list subscribers. I'll simply delete these buttons here. And I'll go ahead and delete these columns. And now I will insert a lead generation element. So I'll click on the add element button and I'll look for lead generation and I'll drag that into where I want it. And now I'll select a simple lead generation form. This one looks pretty good. And you'll notice that Thrive Architect automatically used colors that match my main brand color. Now I'm not going to connect this element quite yet. We have an entire lesson on that subject coming up. So for right now, I will just place it on the page. So everything on the page is organized into sections. For example, here is one section, which we call a block. Here's another section. And here's another section. Now you might want to delete sections. And if you want to do that, that's very easy to do. Simply make sure that the section is highlighted in the breadcrumbs and then use the trash can icon. 
And if you want to add sections, the easiest and fastest way to do that is to use blocks. So anywhere you see a blue plus sign, you can add a block. I'll click on that button. There's a little note here saying that we have both page blocks and content blocks available on this page. So I'll just click got it. And now we can choose a block to insert on our page. As you can see, there are several different types of blocks available. If you'd like to see all blocks, simply click on the drop down and go to show me all blocks. For right now, let's look for a product highlight block. And this one looks interesting, so I'll click on that. And as you can see, our main brand color was automatically used for these icons and for the button text. Now what's handy about blocks is that they are super fast and easy to customize. So let's say I'd like to change this image. So I'll simply click on this element and then I'll go to background style. I'll click on this image and I can simply click the name of the current image to change it. So let me choose a new one and I'll click insert. And then you can move this image up or down to reposition it. And then I'll click apply. And you can also change icons really quickly. So I'll click on this icon here and then I'll go to main options and then I'll go to change icon. And I can simply choose a new icon. And of course you can easily replace text by simply clicking on an element and simply start typing. Now let's move on to the footer. So to start editing your footer, simply click in the footer and then you have two different choices. You can either edit your footer or you can change the footer. If you edit the footer, then the changes you make will apply to all of the theme templates that use this footer. If you change the footer, then only this particular theme template will use the footer that you have changed to. So let's go ahead and let's edit the footer. And the first thing you'll want to do is make sure that you have the right content here. So for example, if I don't want this advertise link, I can simply click on it to change it. Maybe I want this to say blog instead. And the next thing you'll need to do is assign links to each of these menu items. So for example, I can click on about and then under main options, you'll go to link. We do want a regular static link and then under target URL, you can just start typing the name of the page you want to link to. So I want to link to the about page. You can see that about popped up. I'll click on that. If you want, you can have it open in a new tab. I'm just going to uncheck this box and then I'll do the same for the blog menu item. Now these might look familiar, privacy policy, disclaimer, and terms and conditions. So let's click on privacy policy. And you can see that the link over here is actually a dynamic link. So this menu item will use the global fields that we set up in a previous lesson. And you can see in the drop down that global fields is selected and privacy policy is selected for you as well. So this is how you can link to the global fields that you set up in SmartSight. Now, if you want certain things in your footer that aren't currently included, don't forget that you can always add elements if you like. So you can go up to the add element button. You could add text, images, buttons, columns, etc. When you're finished editing your footer, simply click done to click out of the footer. Now there's one last thing I'd like to show you, and that is the mobile responsive buttons. So down at the bottom of the screen, you can see that we are currently in the desktop mode. The middle button is for tablets, so then you can see what your website will look like on a tablet. And the rightmost device is for mobile phones. All of our theme templates and blocks are already mobile responsive, so you shouldn't need to do too much editing. And so with these buttons, you can quickly make design and layout changes for specific devices. And so let's say I would like this spacing to be just a little bit closer on mobile phones. Let's click on the form element here, and then I can go to layout and position and I can decrease the margin here. And that will move this up, but only for mobile phones. We do have some guidelines on how to make adjustments for mobile screens. And so we'll link to that blog post down below. The important point I would like to make now about mobile editing is to start your edits at the larger screen sizes and work your way down to the small ones. 
And also one final tip for mobile responsiveness. If there are any sections that you do not want to display on certain screens, you can easily hide a specific section for a specific device. So for example, let's say I want to hide this block on mobile phones. I'll simply make sure this block is selected. Then I'll go to the responsive tab and then I can hide this for mobile phones. For right now, I'll just leave things as they are and let's go ahead and save our work and move on. The next step in customizing your website is customizing your theme templates. So in Thrive Theme Builder, go to the templates tab and then here you can see your default post template, your default page template, among other templates that you might need for your website. To edit one of these templates, simply click the edit button. So the first thing we should go over with theme templates is what your theme template covers. So over in the main options, you can see a little preview of the page and you can see what the structure of the page looks like. So there's a header, there's a top section, a content section, a bottom section, and a footer. And there's also actually a sidebar section, but it's hidden right now. To view the sidebar, you can simply go to the content area container and then click show sidebar. And now you can see that there is a sidebar on the page as well as in your page preview. So your theme template is where you can edit the designs for the header, the top section, the sidebar, the bottom section, and the footer. And using this handy little preview in the main options tab, you can actually turn off certain parts of the page. So for example, let's say I don't want the top section to show in my theme template. I can simply turn that off. And I can do the same thing for the header as well as the other parts of the page. However, you should know that if you turn off the sidebar, that will disappear completely. And to see the sidebar again, you'll have to go back to the content area container and go back to the show sidebar button. So from your theme template, you can customize everything about your page except for the content. The content portion can be edited by going to the pages tab in WordPress. And the idea is that many of the pages on your website will have the same basic structure as far as the header, top section, sidebar, bottom section, and footer. And so that's why those are covered by the theme template. Whereas the content will be different and unique for each page, so you wouldn't want to use a template for the content portion of your pages. So let's go ahead and take a look at the header you'll see that the header is a linked section. And that means that this header is linked to the other headers that you're using on your website. If you choose to edit the header, then the changes you make will reflect on everywhere else you have used this header on your website. If you would like to make changes for this particular theme template only and not affect the other headers on the rest of your website, you can simply unlink it by clicking the unlink button and then make your changes. And if you would like to choose a completely different design just for this theme template, you can simply click the choose a ready-made design button and choose from a variety of designs. Now what's cool about Thrive Theme Builder is you really don't have to be a designer to create a gorgeous looking design. So for example, let's say you're not thrilled with this top section, simply click on the top section and make sure it says top section in the breadcrumbs and then go to top section on the left and click choose a ready made design. And now you can choose a different design for your top section. I'd like a fairly simple one, so I'll choose this one. And you can do the same thing for your sidebar. So let's say you're not quite thrilled with this sidebar layout. Just click into the sidebar section, make sure it is highlighted in the breadcrumbs, then go to choose a design, and then you can choose a layout that you like better. This one looks pretty good. And let's scroll down to the bottom here. Now we don't have a bottom section showing right now, but we can turn that on. And the bottom section is very much like the header. So if I click on it, you can see that it is linked. You can edit it, you can unlink it, or you can choose a ready-made design. And the same thing goes for the footer. So let's click into the footer. And again, it is linked. You can edit it, unlink it, or choose a ready-made design. And the last thing I'd like to point out about theme templates is that you can add elements from Thrive Architect. So you can add things like text, images, columns, etc. And as far as designing your website, the last thing you'll have to do is create and design the content for your pages. So let's look at some of the things you can do with Thrive Architect. Now, when you're presented with this screen, 
we're going to choose the normal page and that will use the theme template that we just set up. The other three options are good for things like landing pages that you may not want to have the same styling as the rest of your website. So let's go ahead and choose normal page. All right, so here on the about page, we've got a header all set up. We've got the top section set up, our sidebar, and footer are all taken care of with the theme template. So now we just have to worry about the content. The easiest thing to do is to use blocks to build your content. So I'll go to the add element button and then I'll click a block and I'll drag that into the post content section. And now I can build out this page using blocks. This block looks pretty good. So let's go ahead and add that one. And now you can update the images with your own images as well as the text and you can add as many blocks as you need to quickly build a gorgeous page. Now, if you don't want to use blocks to create your page and post content, you certainly don't have to. You can simply use the elements that come with Thrive Architect. So let me scroll up here and let me get rid of this block. And you can always add something like just a regular text element. And you can add in other elements such as styled lists, images, and you can also add buttons. You can also do columns and you have a variety of column layouts to choose from. For now, I'll choose two thirds and one thirds and then you can reorder things. So for example, you can drag this button into this column and you can drag this image into the other column. And there really are a lot of elements to choose from. You can add testimonials, video, audio, an image gallery, post lists, and don't forget that you can intersperse blocks with these elements. And that's how you can create a completely customizable page in very little time. All right, so I think you have all the information you need to customize your theme templates and pages. Now for things like lead generation elements and contact forms, at this stage, you can simply place those on the page and we'll help you get those connected in a later lesson.